welcome to Living the Empowered Life podcast, where we discuss all things empowering, encouraging and inspiring. My name is Yvonne Ellis. I'm an empowerment speaker, author, coach, trainer and founder of Yumi Empowerment, a company that facilitates the empowerment of people. I help people to make positive life change, live in their purpose and develop into their best version of self. I share stories, interviews, spiritual encouragement and actionable tips to empower, encourage and inspire you to live the life you want. So if you want to live the empowered life, join me each week on my podcast so we can take the journey together. Hello Empowered Lifers, welcome to episode 13 of Living the Empowered Life podcast. As you know, my name is Yvonne and I'm going to be your host. So today I want to talk to you about the benefits of life experience. Now, I'm particularly talking probably more about the experiences in life that haven't been so great, even though this could also apply to good life experiences as well. Many people have a negative or regretful view of life experience. Others overlook the experiences they've had. This is for many reasons. The experience was painful, embarrassing, humiliating, upsetting. It made the person feel uncomfortable, vulnerable, stupid. The experience could have reminded them of a difficult period in their life or left them disempowered, the experience. And there's so many different reasons, you know, the list goes on and on. At that moment in time, in that life experience, in that moment, it is possible to feel all these things and more. No one can diminish a person's experience or how it impacted them. But that is the beauty in the complication of this thing we call life. It's made up of experiences, memories, moments that intertwine into the complicated and beautiful thing that we call life. Some experiences are to be understood with time, others are not. We may not have got the resolution result we had hoped for out of the situation or circumstance, but that does not mean that the experience was of no value at all. You see, that is another part of living the empowered life, using whatever experiences you have to empower yourself or others and others. It is also about using in those experiences a different perspective to influence alternative outcomes. As I've shared in part over the last 12 episodes of this podcast, I have shared and used my life experiences through a range of different mediums. That's through resources, books, TV, radio interviews and social media. I have shared my life experiences, the good, the bad and the ugly. I've also shared through evidence of my life in action how I use my life experiences to empower, educate, inspire and motivate others. The benefits of doing so I have found in my experience have far outweighed the momentary pain, disappointments and heartache I felt in those moments of those life experiences. There is power in a mountain out of a molehill. And I know some of you may not have heard that phrase before, where somebody says, you know, you're making a mountain out of a molehill, but we're using it in a different kind of connotation, meaning that, you know, out of those life experiences that felt very small or seemed very small, big things can be built out of them. I don't know if you know the story of the donkey in the well. This is a little bit what life experiences kind of remind me of. It was about a farmer's donkey that fell into an abandoned well. Terrified, the donkey cried for hours and the farmer tried to figure out what to do. And basically the farmer gave up on the animal because he said the animal was too old and impossible to retrieve from the well. So what he then decided to do is to leave the donkey in the well and bury him there. You know, he thought it was impossible to get him out and he was too old and all this stuff. So he got some shovels and shoveled dirt down on the donkey. But what happened was, is that the donkey... Um, at first was really distressed and cried horribly 
But then after a while, the donkey, you know, became quiet. So they thought that the donkey had, you know, died or something. But then to their astonishment, the farmer's astonishment to the people who were at the well, the donkey was using the dirt that they were shuffling down into the well to stand on. And as more dirt was getting thrown down into the well, the donkey was using the dirt as steps to get out of the well. And then finally, the donkey got to the top of the well, um, got out and shaked himself off. And there's so much wisdom in this story. Zig Zagler, who was a famous Christian personal development coach, motivator, innovator, had said, it's not what happens to you that determines how far you will go in life. It's how you handle what happens to you. And this is so clearly demonstrated in this story that I briefly shared with you about the donkey in the well. It's about how you handle your life experiences, what you do with them. You know, are you going to allow them to disempower you? Are are you going to allow your life experiences to be a catalyst for something of change, something that can benefit you or benefit other people or take your life in a different direction? If you're struggling with life experiences, particularly those that haven't been so great, I want to tell you that you can take positives from them. There are benefits from life experiences. And I want to share with you quickly five benefits. The first one is they grow, strengthen or develop you. When you go through life experiences, you know, they can develop you, they can grow you, they can strengthen you, depending on how you are going to go forward with those experiences. The alternative is, is that you let your life experiences make you depressed, bring you down and hold you back. The second thing is they teach life lessons, whether good or bad. Life is a teacher. It's as we learn the lessons of life that we develop and grow, as I just mentioned, And it's through these experiences they can help us to know what we can do better or do different or things that we can look on to help us have a better life or things we need to get rid of in our life. Life Lessons has just as much knowledge as if you attended a school, college or university. I don't know if you've heard that saying as well where people say the university of life. I want to graduate the university of life. I don't think that people ever graduate the university of life because life is a long time, lifelong learning experience. But I definitely get the sentiment of, you know, being able to go through the tests of life and overcome the challenges that come with them. Those life lessons that you've gone through, maybe they are to prepare you for something that is coming down the road. Maybe you needed those experiences, you know, to prepare you for what is next that is coming in your life. I found in my experience that the things that I went through earlier on in life, those experiences, whether good, bad or ugly, have prepared me for all the things that I'm doing now. You know, it's through going through those really hard life experiences that I've developed courage, I've developed confidence. And, you know, much later on, it's helped me to be able to just step out and take risks and do all these different things that I've been doing. And I enjoy being able to do that. So, you know, you never know what these life lessons, these experiences are preparing you for. The fourth thing is, is the things you've learned through life lessons can impart knowledge into others. Your lived experience is invaluable. People are more likely to listen to someone who's been there and done that, you know, because they can be an influence for good. I have found this to be true in all the things I have done so far. There's nothing people appreciate more than somebody that has a first hand account. And by that, I mean somebody who's been through that experience, who knows what they're talking about, whose life is evidenced in action. The fact that they've come through and lived on the other side of that experience is a powerful, powerful thing. The last thing I want to share with you is that you automatically have life experience because you've been through it and you've lived it. No one can say to you, oh, well, you know, you haven't got this qualification, so you can't speak on it. You can't tell others about it because you've actually gone through that life experience and you've lived it. And as I mentioned previously, you know, there is power in someone's first hand account of going through something. And the last thing I really want to quickly say as well is never let anybody make you feel less than for the experiences you've had or for the outcomes. Even if you were the catalyst in those experiences Or, you know, you're just dealing with the hand that life has dealt you. Never let anybody make you feel small for your life experiences. This is something that 
I have gone through so many times, people trying to make me feel bad for the fact that I had to go through certain experiences in my life. But, you know, rather than feed into that negative energy, rather than feed into their negativity, I choose to use my life experiences to better myself and for the embetterment of other people. Good can come from perceived bad, even if those experiences have not been great for you. The key is to own those experiences because in doing so, you gain empowerment. So before we go, I just want to share with you a quick Bible verse from the book of Job, which is chapter 12, verse 12 in the New King James Version Bible. And it says, wisdom is with aged men and with length of days understanding. So thank you for listening into this episode of Living the Empowered Life. I hope that you have found it um, to be encouraging. I thank you for listening in if it's your first time listening in. And if you're listening again, thank you for your continued support. I am going to post a notification on my Instagram, which is Yimmy Empowerment, Y-E-M-E underscore empowerment, to let you know that I have uploaded this episode. I also upload the episode onto YouTube as well on Living the Empowered Life YouTube channel. I will leave links to both of those in the show notes. So I would love to know in the comments how you have used your life experiences to better yourself to empower others, what you have learned from them. I would love for you to share with me, you know, your thoughts on this episode and, you know, how you have used it in your own life. Don't forget to follow this bi-weekly podcast on Apple, iTunes, Spotify and Stitcher. On Stitcher, because I'm on Stitcher, I notice it's got like a little follow button that you can press. And alternatively, you may have that on Apple iTunes podcasts or on Spotify as well. But continue to help me to grow my podcast, continue to support me, continue to go forward and use the things that I share on this podcast to help you live the empowered life. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.